Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. We have got another make it homemade video or semi homemade, whatever you want to call it. I'm super excited about today's. We are going to be putting together some dry mixes that we can keep in our pantry and keep them shelf stable by using a vacuum sealer. I just purchased a vacuum sealer and I have been going nuts on putting things up in my pantry and I am super, super excited about it. So today we're gonna to be making some homemade stovetop stuffing. We're gonna be making two different kinds of rice mixes, flavored rice, and then we're also gonna be making onion soup mix. So let's get to going. I'm so, so excited and I really hope you guys enjoy today's video. In today's video, we're gonna be using this vacuum sealer. Now, I'm not sponsored by this company. This is something that I purchased with my own money and I'm super excited about it. Um, so this is a handheld vacuum sealer. This is the main, the main piece. And then, of course, you need to charge it. Here is the cord that you charge it with and then I just keep this backup thing in here with it. That way it all stays together. Um, just keep it charged and then it comes with a regular mouth and then it also comes with a wide mouth and I will be showing how I use it in today's video but here's kind of a little um, you know you just put it on there suction it out it did come with a hose um, so that way you can use like these with your regular vacuum sealer which I'm hoping to get a vacuum sealer for Christmas um, I was gonna go ahead and get one but I went ahead and got this instead because to me, what, if, what I'm vacuum sealing, this is what I needed versus going ahead and getting a vacuum sealer, like a you know big one. So I went with this one, and I am so, so happy that I purchased this because I absolutely love it. And I feel like it's a game changer for me as to what I can put back and you know extend the shelf life to, pro to be able to provide for my family. I do have this linked to my Amazon storefront. It's either under kitchen or it's under prepper pantry. I cannot remember which one. So check either one or check both of those and y'all can find this. It's really reasonable price. It was on sale. I don't know if it still is on sale, but just check that link. It's always in the description box, but I highly, highly recommend. I absolutely love this thing. I have put up rice. I have put up cereal. Um, I, and then today we're gonna do some dry mixes. I absolutely love this thing. <laughs> I know that the light's off, so it's hard to see in general, but I wanted to show you guys that as it's charging, it will be um, red. Once it's fully charged, it will be blue. We're gonna start out by making a homemade version of the onion soup mix. I don't have the original box. I always just take them out and put them in my little spice a bucket in my cabinet. So for the onion soup mix, you need uh, minced or chopped dried onions, parsley, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, pepper, salt, and some sugar. This is what I keep my sugar in. So we're just gonna mix everything in this little jelly jar and then mix it together and then we will get it sealed up and airtight. I'm gonna use my canning funnel so that way it's easier to get everything in there. And the recipe that I am using, I will have linked down below for you guys. But you literally just dump everything in. And then you can, you know, use it according to what recipe you need it for. So for reference, if you want to like bulk batch this, one of these, because I just opened this, one of these is a half a cup. <laughs> If you are wondering so that way you can kind of have an idea of how many of those you need to buy if you're wanting to do more than just one I feel like for me when I, since I've got this vacuum sealer it's been like a game changer on stuff that I can put up and provide to have for my family like you wouldn't think that that would make a difference but it really does you know, knowing that I can make things homemade or semi-homemade and, you know, put them in jars and vacuum seal them and it's going to extend the shelf life. Like, 
like I said, it might not make sense, <laughs> but it's, it has, it's literally been a game changer for me for what I can put up for my family. And, and of course you can do this without having a vacuum sealer, but vacuum sealing it is just going to suck out, you know, all the air and it's going to make it last longer. So... So we got everything in there. And I'm gonna take and put that on there just so I can shake it up. It literally looks, it looks just like it, don't it? Okay. Now I'm gonna use my My best friend here. I love this thing. See, let's press down. Airtight. And now I can store this in my spice cabinet and use it as needed for recipes. I wanted to mention as well that the recipe that I'm following says to use five tablespoons of this mix to equal one packet of soup mix. Now we're going to do some rice mixes. Now I have done this before. I did it with the Norse chicken flavor. Um, I went ahead and did one in a jar that way I made sure that it fit um, in this size jar. So I'm going to do another one of the chicken. This is what the chicken one is. And then I'm going to do two of the um, Spanish rice. And then if you want beef flavored, instead of doing like the chicken bouillon, do beef bouillon for the one I'm going to show for the chicken. Like I said, I have done this one before. It is really, really good. So I'm excited to, um, you know, get these put on my shelf again, but shelf stable. So that way they last longer. Um, and then, okay. So for these, of course, there's going to be different seasonings for both. And I will have both recipes linked down below. Um, but the base of it is long grain white rice. You need some, um, like spaghetti noodles, these are just the ones I use. They're just broken up um, little spaghetti pieces. And then for the Spanish rice, you're gonna need, it says tomato powder, tomato bouillon, um, same thing, <laughs> pretty much. I don't have any tomato powder, so I'm just gonna use this. And then of course, the chicken bouillon or beef bouillon, just whatever flavor you're wanting. And then parsley and um, pepper for the regular one and then for the Spanish rice you're going to need salt onion and chili powder so we're going to do like I said one more of the chicken and then I'm going to show you two of the Spanish rice we eat the chicken more than we do beef flavored rice because we really like the um, stick of butter rice so I, I do that so we prefer the chicken flavor if I'm going to get like purchase the bags um, so yeah, um, that's why I'm doing the chicken flavored versus beef flavored, but it's just going to depend on what your family likes. So it is just equal parts rice and pasta. And then... seasonings um now if you're used to buying the nor sides which i am because i love them y'all know me i love convenience foods i'm not going to stop buying convenience foods but you know it is nice to be able to make stuff homemade as well it's all about balance um but 
what I'm getting at is if you use the North size, you know that the beef and the chicken normally have like de a little bitty, like the world's smallest dehydrated veggies. <laughs> and um, I don't have any, I don't have any dehydrated veggies. And the recipe that I'm using doesn't call for any. But if you want it to be, you know, more identical and realistic, then if you got dehydrated veggies or if you have dehydrated veggies, I'm gonna be getting a dehydrator, so I'll do my own. So once I get that and can dehydrate my own vegetables, I can put it in um, this, like the Spanish rice. Dehydrated peppers and onions would be really good in that. Um, and then this one, you know, would be good with some carrots, just like the beef flavored one. Um, and I did show how to make the beef flavored one homemade. I think that was rice aroni. I will have that video linked down below as well as my make it homemade playlist. So, um, but yeah, let's get all this mixed together and then we will get it sealed. So I didn't show this on the Lipton onion soup mix, but I'm taking a dry towel and I'm just making sure that there's no dust or anything, you know, no dry seasonings on the lid that way, or on this, that way the lid sits and seals properly. But you're gonna do the same thing, just like the other one. That's it. Okay, so we got two chickens. Now we're gonna do two Spanish rice. And what I've done is I have wrote, which this was on my last one, if y'all watched the last one where I did this. Um, I just did it in a glass container because I didn't have my vacuum sealer. Um, and that's why I'm showing this again. Some of y'all are gonna be like, she's already showed this, why is she showing it again? It's because I'm doing it in a vacuum sealer, so I'm showing you guys how to do it this way. Seal it up, and that way it's preserved for a longer shelf life. But for the last one, I took and wrote the instructions um, and like how much everything you need. And so I will just put this probably like on the inside of my cabinet, honestly. And so that way I know what the um, finish, like to how to finish off the recipe from having it in here, you know? Which all of this will be um, linked in that recipe. But I'll probably put that in the back of my, behind my cabinet door. That way I can have the instructions for um, that and the Spanish rice. So now let's mix together the Spanish rice. If you can't find the little broken up um, spaghetti noodles, which I found those in the Hispanic section. If you can't find them, you can just get thin spaghetti and just break it up yourself. In case you were wondering. Okay. So, we got that done. Now we need... rest of our seasonings. Now it does call for more minced onion, but y'all seen I used it all. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add in the powder. But it will be fine. And then... 
Okay, so we added in our chili powder, onion, salt, and a tomato. So we have got the onion soup mix. We've got two of the chicken flavored rice, which I've tried them. They're really good, excited to do those again. And I'm excited to get them vacuum sealed. And then we got two of the Spanish rice. And as you see, the Spanish rice only did a cup's worth and the um, chicken flavored ended up being two cups worth. So I will probably use both of these together. I had a moment and I didn't think about just putting that in one jar. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, technically I could still unseal it, move that over and then make me another one if I wanted to. Um, so it's just gonna depend on your family size. If you need the Spanish rice recipe, do it double in one jar. Um, I did one single recipe per jar, if that makes sense. <laughs> and then, like I said, I'm just gonna have the um, instructions on how to take it from this to cook it. I'm just gonna put tape it inside of my cabinet right here and I'll, and I'll do the spanish rice one like that as well that way it's there i know i just need to add water and butter to cook it up but that's it we got all of these done and i literally had everything here at the house for it so you know this is just extra free you know free side dishes for us um because I had everything here and you might already have everything at your house as well. So the recipe that I'm following, I will have a link down below. It is more of like a bulk batch. I am going to just do one. I'm having a really hard time of finding quart jars. Once I find more, I will make more, but I have one, you guys. I have one quart jar left. So we're gonna make this with one quart, quart jar. Something's better than nothing. At least I'm making it and putting it in my putting it in my pantry. So I looked up and found these um, cubed stuffing. I got the cornbread one and I also got just the regular. I paid a dollar fifty for this whole box. I have no clue where you can find these at. Um, just look in your area. But the recipe has you making it from bread. The um, the recipe that will have linked. So if you follow that to a T, it will tell you how to use it from leftover bread. So that's also good. But I'm gonna be using this cube stuffing. You also need sage, Italian dressing, some chicken bouillon, celery flakes. Y'all realize how expensive celery flakes are? I could not believe it. That was almost $5. I cannot wait to get my dehydrator because I'm gonna make my own. That is ridiculous. Minced onion pepper and then you need some time like i said i am dividing this out um, to be able to just fit enough in this quart jar but just refer to the recipe make however much you want and if you can look up and find um you know the stuffing already made or make your own whatever you got whatever you want to do but let's go ahead mix all this together and get it put in the jar and get it vacuum sealed Okay, so I had to measure out to see how many of these fit in the jar so I knew how to break down the recipe. So we're going to do three cups. And then we're just gonna go ahead and add everything else in.
Okay, that's it. It's got a good seal on it and it's ready to go in the pantry. I'm super excited about this one, you guys. So excited. Um, so I will just write down the cooking, um, like the measurements and how to and do the same thing like I did with the chicken and the Spanish rice and put them in the cabinet. That way I have it. Um, it's convenient and it's super easy. I'm so excited. So excited about this one. So, like I said, it's not sponsored at all. I purchased this with my own money. I will have it linked in my Amazon storefront. Y'all have got to get one of these. They are amazing. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you some inspiration and motivation to get some food put back for your family, regardless if it's homemade, semi-homemade, whatever the case is. We've just got to feed our family. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.